Hi, this is Glenn Howes of General Health Software, and here I am with me from the future. No, this is my dad, the RVer. Hello. Hello. So uh, you are you RV occasionally? What, what are you? What, what do you do with your RV? I'm full time. You're a full time RVer. Right. Okay. That means you, you don't have a house. This 365 days a year. I see. Even Christmas. <laughs> well, yeah, even Christmas. Even Christmas. Yeah. Okay, and um, uh, you ha you have watched uh, d uh, TV over the air. We watch a lot of TV over the air. Okay, and so what? What? How do you go? What? How do you go about doing that? What do you? What's? Uh, what's your? Well, the first thing we do when we pull into a Walmart parking lot or an RV park that doesn't have cable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Hazel, mom will crank that antenna up before I get anything else done. The TVs and everything are working on 12 volts. I get the uh, your i my iPhone out. I go to your program, the TV Towers USA. And we look to see where those television stations are. And like right here is Boston. About, what would you say, 40 miles or so? It's about 35 miles from here. And so I uh, pick one of the stations out in the, in the cluster. And it shows me just where to point that antenna. It's very directional. And uh, put it right there. And that it will say that is exactly where that TV station is. Now, the other day, you, you, you sort of fixed your preamp, right? Yeah, I, my, uh, my amp and the antenna, uh, it's a brand new top on that antenna four months ago, but when I installed it, I put, I didn't do the connector properly, and I had no 12 volts up there. Mm -hmm. So once, we were getting four stations. Yes. So I put a new connector on there, we got 12 volts up there, and all of a sudden we're getting 42 stations. <laughs> I know that's sort of funny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, is. it really is. I, I thought there has to be something wrong here. Yes. But it, now it's working great. We've got the 32-inch flat screen in the back in the captain's quarters. Yeah. And we got the original 13-inch analog TV in the dash, and I have a digital converter, and that's nice for watching the news and whatnot. But I have plans for in this area here on the other side to mount a, another flat screen. Oh, okay. On the outside? No, on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> what Dad was just telling us about his, uh, his plans to make a very large number of TVs here, or an extra TV. Oh, 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 oh. Make a, your home theater. Home theater. Yes, even more of a ham, uh, even more of a um, man cave than it already is. Yeah. Okay, well let's let's uh, go inside and have a look at this uh, amazing okay. system. Here we are in my dad's uh, motorhome, and here is um, his crank for. Um, Putting up the antenna. So, does this did this come with this antenna? Yes. This you, when they build yeah. these things, it comes with it. Standard equipment. But you you replaced it at some point. No. Oh, you replaced it in the other one. And I replaced the head to put in a high definition top on it uh, uh, a year ago. But it's the original assembly here. Oh, okay. So how how do you put? So you you've come to an RV park or or you're going to park for a while and you want to bring up your antenna. How do you go about doing that? Okay, simply uh, crank it up. Until it stops? It'll stop. Okay, what's that little red button? What's that red dot mean? That indicates I've got the high definition antenna pointer, or the uh, part of the antenna that points that way. In other words, right now it's pointing in that direction. Oh, okay, which is that, which. Coincidentally, is the right direction for it where we live. It happens to be the right direction from where we parked, <laughs> parked for uh, Boston Station. Yeah. yeah. So okay, but let's say we're let's say we're going to do it from scratch. So you you take your the app on your phone. Right. The app on the phone. And, and there's find... there's a button there that you can actually zoom in. Yep. There we go. Oops. Okay. Oops. Whoop. Okay. Here's the it's a zoom in button. Zoom in button. There we go. Okay. It'll let's... zoom in. It shows me these stations here. Let's take let's take a standard map here. Okay. If I can. You can I think you have to be hit a little higher. There okay. we go. Okay. And it it's showing me, for example, now let's see. If I want to uh, look at ABC. Um, it's right there. See. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Where my standard app though? I'm getting a hybrid here. Okay. Um, and, and 
Let's see, you can tap on the ABC station. ABC, okay. And it, it tells me everything about the station. And then down at the bottom here, there's a compass. And it shows me that if I point right that way, which happens to be where I am right now, yeah. that will... Uh, uh, that will bring in the station. Okay. Yeah. So, so you just, but mainly. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, it just rotates very easily then. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you just point it to where, to where it goes. Okay. Uh, so how, how, so how accurate do you have to think this can give you? Is it, was, it seems like it's, it locks it's, into like 10, 10 degree increments. It's fairly directional, yeah. You've got those little divots there? Right, yeah, right, yeah, and so, that'll lock it in place. So yeah. it looks like you've got about 10 degrees per, per about divot? 10 degrees, yeah. Okay. 5 or 10 degrees, yeah. Okay, so you basically just have to point, just once you get, once you know where the, which direction is, it, there's no fine tuning of this, it just points. No, at that point it's... It's right in there. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, hey, Dad, you are telling me that early, the other day that you have this tip about uh, what you should do with clearing channels when you, uh, when you get to a park. Uh, that's right. The, uh, now, as it, as it happens, our new 32-inch flat screen does it automatically. Does what? Clears all the old channels out when you go to rescan. Oh, really? But on the earlier ones, the one we had before, the Vizio, I love those. They had a screen an inch thick. Mm -hmm. You had to go in and reset the factory defaults, and it would ask you for the for the code. Well, I didn't know what the code was. Well, one day I'm reading that the code is the parental control code, and if you've never changed it, it's four zeros. Oh, okay. So I put in the four zeros. It wipes out. Okay, listen to that, kids. Four zeros is the parental release code. That's by right. Default. <laughs> so. Uh, Wiped out all the old channels and rescanned that. Otherwise, we were going through 50 channels to get five or ten. Oh yeah, it was uh, a real problem, but but not anymore. Okay, so anyway, so you um, you have this thing, and I guess I, I heard some video earlier about you using it. Mm -hmm. uh, is do you have any tips for like not uh, running with your antenna up? I mean, is there any way to keep you from doing that? There is, and uh, I I uh, forgot to do it. I forgot to do it uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was driving down the road, and people drove up and were honking their horn and pointing upwards. I had forgotten to hang my keys on the crank. Oh, okay. Did you did you invent that technique? Yep, that's an original. I got the patent on that one. Oh yeah. man, you should get your utility patent on that. <laughs> but anyway, so you just um, you just uh, stop, you you park, and you your mom, mom is up there pointing the antenna. Oh, mom is already. <laughs> running the antenna, uh, the TVs are all on 12 volt inverters and and with the with the Blu-ray players and so we can actually we can be in a Walmart parking lot without the generator running, watch television all night. Well, it doesn't use that much energy, huh? Doesn't use that much, and we've got uh, some good uh, chassis batteries. Oh, cool. Well, um, I'm glad you know. <laughs> I'm glad that you're using my app. Like I'm, I'm always I wonder, I'm I always tell, wonder. I tell people about it uh, when I'm walking around the RV park and handing out the the card for our travel blog. Uh -huh. um, I, I always tell them, hey, check this out and check out this app. Well, uh, you know, the RV owners are my most faithful users. So I will say that well, because they, they're the ones that will use it every week. Yes, that's true. That's what I mean. I mean, mm -hmm. most people are like, oh, I have to pay dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. Wow. Oh. Yeah. How I mean, can they afford it? I don't know. How could possibly? <laughs> well, if, I mean, yeah, you bought this huge RV. I mean, yes. it, I assume it cost more than a dollar ninety nine. It did. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Dad. I'm, I really appreciate you well, helping me with this thank video. You. Thank you. Put a put a. Uh, uh, you should put a plug in for my. Uh, for my travel blog, I'll have to give you oh. the address for it. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put, I, I'll can't, put. I can't remember it. Okay, I'll put it in the links below. Dad okay. has. I'll probably has lots of tips about how to Got use a lot RV. Of tips. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We'll uh, do off, that. And we're on our way to Florida for the winter. Yeah. Well, really, is that so unusual? I mean, it is unusual. Does more than one or two people do that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the one park we really like, the Corps of Engineers Park, is booked up solid till April. Oh, really? So every night I check the website, and once in a while there's a cancellation, you know, you jump right in. 
Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, we'll put that in the links below, too. Okay. So, uh, thanks. This is G Glenn Howes of General for Software and uh, Ronald Howes of, what's your blog name? The last person to call me Ronald, they're still looking for him, but uh, my, my mother used to call me Ronald when I was in trouble. It's Ron. It's Ron. Okay, my dad, Ron Howes. And what is your name of your blog? Uh, well, glad you asked. I, and I have the card. Here you can... Take a look at the card, uh, my, mytripjournal.com slash Ron and Hazel. Okay, yes, that would be my, my mom, Hazel. Okay. Here we uh, go. Uh, here we go. Here we are. Here you go. I will put the link to it. There you go. You have an official Better. blog thing. That's pretty put cool. put that in your pocket. Oh, you thank you. have occasion to hand it out. Yeah, I'll hand it out. Okay, thanks, Dad. Thank you. Bye.